Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, non-binary, this is Baron Knight Podcast. I'm your host, that guy from over there, that guy from around the way, the scruffy nerf herder, you know, the, that guy that lives up the street that goes and plays video games and dresses up as superheroes from time to time. I'm that guy, Dom, Dominic, Jurassic Parker, or you call me Barry Knight, doesn't matter, I'm him, okay? I am him. Uh... Yes, this is the very night podcast. And as if you can see on the other on the other side of the screen, if you're watching this, you know, depending on how you're listening to this or watching it, I got a friend of the show, a great, great friend of the show. He goes by Geek Squire, you know, representative. He's a Geek Squire. Oh, you can just call him Geek Squire. Uh, my boy Choji, also known as Brian. Also, also known, known as, as AKA's, uh soon to be Mr. Uh, Lynch, aka soon to be Miss, Mr. Paris, aka Mr. Uh, Rambo, Mr. TikTok, <laughs> Mr. TikTok, uh, aka soon to be Mr. Uh, Photon, Mr. Spectrum. Um, uh, after what we about to review today, soon uh, soon to be husband of um, Miss Tiana Paris and Monica Rambo. Um, just just soon soon to be uh, husband to Grits. Lots of grits. um, yes, um get my camera right um so before i like to start the show like uh you know i like to say thank you guys for watching or, or listening however you're gonna however you're going to digest this show and uh thank you and i uh, hope you like subscribe and all that good stuff and you know let people know how you feel about the show and uh, whatever uh before we start i before we actually go into it i gotta give a shout out uh i'm gonna have to i'm gonna be i'm gonna have to be a little bit of a uh What's the word? Uh, what's the word? What's that word that they put on the internet with those annoying people that like to start stuff and then uh, leave, like start fires and just like uh, troll. That's the Insta- word. Oh, I was gonna say instigator. That too, but I, yeah, but I don't have a troll moment and just say, "Oh, let me get a drink from one of our non-sponsors <laughs> of uh, <laughs> the from the greatest." the greatest US United States champions of all time currently currently the greatest you know United States champion of all time in, in pro wrestling history in WWE That's history That's uh, the Maverick himself the Maverick not Tom Cruise the real Maverick okay the, <laughs> Logan Paul you, you know Paul. shout out on Eddie Guerrero's Sh- anniversary, you gonna say that? That's crazy. That's wild. Shout out, shout out, Logan Paul. This and shout out to Prime. It's crazy. That's crazy. You trying to get that sponsor money? That's crazy. That's it's wild. so good. That's a wild statement you made, my boy. That's a it's wild so, statement. It's so good. So it smells like, tastes like freedom. Tastes like freedom. This red, white, and blue Prime. Yes, yes, it does. Um, shout outs to Prime, unofficial, um, unofficial sponsor, official. please. Um, we're broke, uh, <laughs> but yes, um, and shout outs to Eddie Guerrero, the best of uh, all time. I look, I can't say nothing, <laughs> well, honestly. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero is the best, honestly. I know. No, your camera went off for a brief moment. And I was like, see, that's your ass get. Eddie came oh. back to the grave on your ass on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eddie. I'm sorry. Don't, you know, um, but yes. So um, we, he are, we are here to talk about, if you see the tag, you see already on, on the top of the, the heading, the Marvels. Now, this is a, we, we just don't get right down to it. We go. We don't give a damn about if you didn't see this movie or not. We're going to spoil yeah. this whole movie yeah. from top to bottom. I don't care because I'm giving y'all about, let me see, when this comes out, is about a week or two before. About yeah, about a week. Yeah. So I'm giving y'all enough time to watch this movie. Okay. Enough time. Y'all got about a week. So just saying, y'all got a good week. Uh, 
So when you listen to this, hey, I'm sorry for you. If you going don't write down uh spoiler. No, no, spoiler alert. We gon we're gonna talk about it all. Uh disclaimer, we don't care. Uh <laughs> I had to get this off my chest. I wasn't going to talk about this movie because I wasn't looking forward to this movie. Uh, honestly, I really wasn't. Um, it was until Mr. Geek Squire himself over here gonna go and rant a little bit on his TikTok about the movie, which Man. therefore made me say, you know what? I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go see this movie. And so I saw it was uh, they had it online for bootleg. I don't care. I I wasn't I was I, I wasn't gonna be mad. I was not gonna be upset spending more money on this movie if I didn't like it. Look, I'm times sorry. Times are hard. Times are hard. Times are hard. And it was a good it was a good uh good cam camera work this person put up. Um, I saw everything I needed to see uh, <laughs> and more. Uh, <laughs> but I I gotta give it to. I gotta give it to you, bro. Um, it wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was gonna be. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I went in. I also went this movie with low expectations. Very uh, low. Very low. They weren't super low, but it was like, I don't. This movie might not be like great. I might get a good chuckle, but like this might be because uh, after coming off of Loki, like yo, mm. this is this the show was a little rocky, but those last few episodes, awesome. I was like, all right. Hopefully the Marvels is a. Uh, We're gonna talk about Loki. Gonna, it's too. gonna be good. And then I went in, and I'm like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Rambo. And then the shit got off, and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm I'm smiling, I'm laughing. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is so far good. Let's mm -hmm. see how we get to the middle. Get to the middle. I'm still with it. Yep. I'm still with it. Get mm -hmm. to the end. Okay, I enjoyed this movie. I had two Nick picks. This is a solid movie to me. Mid credit scene, bitch. I'm buying. I'm buying the DVD. I'm buying it. I'm buying okay. it. It's done. Now, when you went that far in the, in, the, in your know, rant, so you gonna buy the DVD? That was that was the part that got me. Like, okay, I gotta watch this uh, because there's very few movies now that I really want to buy the DVD. Uh, besides, like Guardians of the Guardians Three, that I really want to get. I still haven't got them. Um, I I don't. Even, I I forgot. I have the first. Yeah, I, I got the first, first two. Right? I yeah. don't have the second one. I'm looking at I, it right now. I got the first two, and I haven't gotten this third one yet. But, um, but I'm gonna buy that for myself uh, for Christmas or my birthday, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So when I when I saw your and I was like saw your your feedback about it, I like okay, let me check it out. And I was literally gonna go to the movies Friday. And like, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna go I'm leave out of work and buy a ticket. And then I'm like, but what if I don't like it? And what if it's like, what if it's like Wonder Woman 8, 90, uh, 88 or whatever? 1984. Uh, what if it's like that? Because that sucked. Um, so I'm like, all right, you know what? I saw online to so I trust the little website that I go to watch my shows. And it was up there. So I'm like, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me see if, if the visuals don't look good. I'm gonna just go ahead and pay the ticket. Then I, and the visual was pretty good. And I was like, well, I'm going to stay home and watch this goddamn movie and, and save me some dollars. Um, don't, just don't say it. You know, we, we know the mouse is like very. very I'm broke, cute. mouse. I'm broke. <laughs> All right. I'm broke, mouse. Okay. I've already got the Disney Plus. All right. Give me, a, I'm doing enough. I'm doing enough. Okay. I it's hard out here. That's also another reason we don't get the DVDs because like everything's gonna be on the app. Like, well, yeah, that's that's the reason why I haven't got the the uh, what is it the volume three because it was is already on Disney Plus. I can watch it anytime. Yeah. Um, well, I got that. I copped that with the quickness. As soon as that was on, the yeah, phone, that's why I bought that. Um, so watching this, I, I one I do. I'm not a Brie Larson fan. Like I've seen her in other movies and stuff. Like, and I thought she's good in other things. But I just, I don't know. I've seen her stuff off off camera, like how she talks and everything. And I'm like, okay, that's how she is, whatever. But I just don't buy her as this, as Captain Marvel. Like, I don't know what it is about her, but she doesn't emote all that great as Captain Marvel. Like, I've seen her do other things, other movies and stuff. And she's good. She's not a bad actress. I've seen her do other stuff, but it's just like, it's just like she's just fulfilling her contract in a way. It's kind of like, 
It's kind of like what's her name playing Mystique in the last X Men movie. She's like, oh. I'm just, I'm just here because I got a, I got a, you know, I'm, I did Jennifer a contract. Yeah, a, yeah, it was like I did this contract when I was young and dumb. I'm just here for the for the check and give me go. The, someone want to kill me yet, yeah, please? That's what I was hoping from Captain Marvel. Somebody killed her off early, um, but she was still there. Um, I was like, anytime now, please. Let put the stakes to make the stakes super high. Um, I was like, can Rogue show up or something? Um, it's not Rogue. Oh. You know, take her powers, please. Uh, I just don't want to see her face. She just does not do. She just. We only. The only reason I watched the other movie, the first movie, is because it was in connection with the the last the last two uh, Avengers movies, and we had to watch it because we we had to see what was the what was the connection with her and the big bad and all this stuff. And then we watched it. It had some nostalgia moments, like the blockbuster. We got a young Nick Fury and all that stuff, which is funny and stuff. But I, I still didn't like the whole cat thing. The reason why his eye thing. I like I don't I still don't like that that part in there because it's like it just it just messed up his character honestly. It, I like the I like the fact that we had a mystery behind the eye. We don't need to know. It just like he's that much of a badass. We don't need to know why. We just have our own conclusions. We can make our own fan theories up. But the fact that we got that bull in that movie with the cat, I'm like, okay, this is stupid. And then we you know. We get back to we get to you know in game and she's there, and we thought okay she gonna this is where she gonna do her thing and then she get back slap, you know pimp slap. To uh, be fair, to be fair, Thanos had to pull out the power stone to get her off because she took a head button that hair didn't move that she was like bitch I'm yeah get you up. So yeah she, I mean the, yeah yeah like he he, he had like ah right, you got I got you got go I can't deal with you. You're but at the, at the same time, he did one hit and she was gone. It's a power stone. <laughs> but come on now, still. It's Captain Marvel. I've been talking big and bad about this woman this whole time. I want to see her do her thing. I want to see her. Give me a Goku moment, damn it. And we didn't get that moment. I want to see a Goku Frieza cell moment. We didn't have that between the two. I thought That's she was going to be that. showing up, showing out. But we didn't. She just got back slapped. Power glove, like power glove, or die. I don't give a damn. Uh, but also, let's be honest, it, it was a setup for Tony to make the sacrifice. That, yeah, that's not really on her, that's on writing, like, but on writing, too. Because, yes, it's true. Because that's that's the thing the writing, because they really made her powerless when she showed up to fight him. And it's just like, like, it may, it may throw a look at her, like, really, this is the fuss. <laughs> She's sleep, y'all. She's sleep. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> so, her getting the second movie, get her getting the second movie. I was like, okay, we already had, uh, we already um, cemented uh, Photon uh, in um, in Wonder Wonder Vision. We already got Miss Marvel, her TV show. I both, I like both of those characters. Those were yeah. fine. I wish that we had Photon show up, like maybe as, as a second season. Or even in that first season of Ms. Marvel to get them together because I like them together. I like them separately. Honestly, together or separately. I like both. I just don't like Green Larson. I don't like Captain Marvel. So I like the other two better. This might be a little bit biased. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I've, but I've, still. Been, I've been in this camp for like ever. No, uh, but Captain Marvel is a cool character. She is dope. I don't like her mom haircut, you know, that she gets. Look, I'm a, I'm again, I'm biased. That short haircut does something with short hair on women does something to me. I don't know what it is that I'm, a, I'm on. You got a soccer mom fetish. I, That's what you have, boy. You, first off, it's not that. It's women that could kill me. That I will openly admit on the internet. Look at, mm, look at me. Look mm, at me. I, don't I have. To. I don't want to. Zero problem. Mm. Throw me to a wall. Mm. I don't mm. care. I have That's how it is. just Jesus. I don't I don't do ropes. You see my skin color? The skin color and ropes, we don't go together. That's so just, that's we have history that's... with that. We have gone way off topic topic. Um <laughs> I don't know. I that was a I, lot. 
that was a lot. I mean, I, I, like I don't know. Me. That was a lot to know about you right there. Can we just yeah, can we just not can we just put out there that you're you can we put out there, you know, as uh right now we, we as a collective, as a collective, everyone, can we all just um uh, recognize that uh Brian is a uh, it's a little out there. He's a he's a he's a, he's, a, he's, he's oh He's out there. He's mm, the boy. Mm. He nasty. He nasty. Um, little out there. Boy. This is this is this is why the geek. This is why all the girls like him on TikTok. This is why. See, you yeah, see why? Like, this, they see? like, and I don't. I don't catch no signals. None. See, this, see, None. see. Look at if look we at find out. Guys, I prom. I promise you, there's no thought behind these bitches. No. I swear to God, okay. you, the moment None. you get, the moment you have a place. Well, you have a dungeon. You're gonna. It's gonna be you. It's gonna. I, <laughs> Why a dungeon? Like, because that's what it sounds like. You, you're gonna. You want some yes, man? Paddle me. That's no, what it sounds like. Not, not. I'm not in the paddles. Not, not that. Okay, you want to. <laughs> you, you'd be a great. You'd be a great character in. Uh, if it was uh, was the uh, the boys. Like oh, it's a superhero. <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, you be in that scene where they had all the people that had a superpower girlfriend, a boyfriend, uh, and they just got fucked up afterwards. Like, so yeah, so I had a girlfriend who had superpowers. She could freeze things, and um, I had no dick no more. <laughs> <laughs> like my, my penis is gone. <laughs> no, <dude>. like, <laughs> no, <dude. Ooh. laughs> that's what she did. <laughs> that's that's the type of thing that you be on. Um, broken leg, still. sure. Broken arm, sure. Bro- Shattered, <laughs> cool. Mm, mm, I need okay, that. I want that. But no, back to the topic at hand. Like, but I, yes, I've never not like really, like soccer mom. I love doing Scott Pilgrim. She was one of my favorite characters. Yeah, you know what? I thought she was hot in Scott Pilgrim. I uh, thought she was super hot. When they cast her in like 2016 or 2015 for Captain Marvel, I'm like, honestly, great casting. There's no, I, I don't really see anyone at that time that could be this character. And then really? went with, I couldn't I couldn't really think of anyone that could be like Karen. They were pulling from from just the first look at the costume. It was definitely going towards the origin, but it was also going to look at the yeah. modern looks. So I'm like, and I, okay. I like how I do like how they change the suits to pick, like look like the comics as at certain times of that we did see her over the, these past couple of years, like mm-hmm. change changing and all that. Like they made the comic yeah. accurate type stuff. And I love. I do the, like oh, the suit in game. The in game suit to me is her best one with the little shash. And I, I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm say this a lot. A pod called Blur mentioned that they did they hate the helmet with the little mohawk thing it just don't that too i i hated it i thought it was gonna look (sighs) i i i wanted to disagree with them but now as i as i look back i'm looking at the pictures i'm like honestly you have brie lawson let that face show just let the face show like i I don't look visually visually speaking better but i i do say like i mean her the helmet and everything look cool at points like yeah she can have her berserker moment type of thing that's cool you know, um, I just, it's just the, you know what, it, I think it's the mohawk part of it, like the hair part that just, like, I don't, it looked like a peacock. I don't know what it is. See, it just, they said the same thing. They said the exact oh, same yeah? thing. Oh, yeah. They did. Um, uh, it just didn't do much. It just, like, I don't understand. Like, I, I, I rather it just, like, if it was laid down, like a full, like, I, I don't have a problem with the rest of the helmet. It's just the peacock thing going on just messed me up every time. I, so, personally, I like it, but honestly, if someone like Brie Lawson, you don't really need the helmet. Just let no. Save 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 the CGI budget. Just let the face show. But. I mean, she she's fine without the helmet. She's one of the few superheroes that don't need a mask. She, she really don't. She, she don't she have she no really identity. Don't. What are you hiding from? It's not like you got like a super ide- like a uh, identity yeah. like you work at Walmart or something. Like we right. got you know. You're not saving. You're not doing anything special. Like you're literally saving the world, saving the galaxy and stuff. You really don't she, need to do that. And the thing about Captain Marvel, she's more of a peacekeeping, uh, yeah, character. So she's not even really ever on Earth. She's usually in the galaxy, exactly, which so we like, saw in this movie, which is I one of the things I love the fact that even though we didn't get a lot, now I, I'm, I guess this is a good little segue. Uh, right, you see what happened after. Captain Marvel. After that, like, yes, she said she was gonna stop, like destroy everything. Well, she guess did. Guess what? 
she did and we get to meet our villain which is my one one of my two complaints is that we see her origin and why she hates captain marvel aka the annihilator uh because she pulled up and she was kind of like a security guard of some sort yeah she got yeah taken out with a a pillar and then captain marvel destroyed the ai that caused the civil war for the crew right. and the scrolls and not pronounced to her this pretty much killed the entire planet here's my thing. yeah because the whole planet was running off of them right off, off the AI. Of ai here's my thing i wish they had moved that scene in the movie a bit further up and expanded on it so we got mm. a little bit more of the villains like motivation on how they became yeah how did they get ronin's hammer how did they get the stone like well i think that, that's just a that's just i think the hammer is just something that they all pretty much can have like yeah i think but they it was just made multiple it was small than ronin's but like yeah I, they did more because like I know, I know a lot of people are saying like the villain was half big and i can i can see that because we only got maybe a total of like two minutes of explanation on why the villain the way is and if i feel if we they will have expanded upon that uh, just a little bit more mm -hmm. something just move it a little bit further ahead so we can get more like this they should like my child is dying uh like we never see this child at all not right. one so like and then it it was one of those villains that's just like straight i want to do this a b there's no like i'm not intricate plan c no and even though like the little vegan henchman was like hey maybe we should run some tests you know because if yes. kids, i don't give a fuck about all that give me the break give me the band let's, I'm, I'm with the shit switch I kind of appreciate at the same time, like as much as half big that was, I do appreciate the fact that the villain was a villain. They were just with the shits. They didn't give a fuck about none of that. They just want to do some evil shit. So, oh, well, they want to do evil shit to just to justify what they're trying to do to save their planet. Which is like, right. I don't think it's like you did, but you at the same time you try to be a hero to your people. Right. But you're still doing bullshit. Your, yes. Your whole this whole act of this is all booty. This is booty. They're like any nothing you're doing right now that's helping your cause. Like like, they, like she got air. She got the air from one plan. She stole the water, which uh th that plan was like 95, 98 percent water. Th we never went back to that. I don't know. No, if that they, is barren. They, I, I think, think they dead. Water. I think they like, died. Like, like we never. We never no. The, I think they the all people, died. We know the people you're thinking of that dying was the first plan when they like no 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 the the singing planet the singing planet like didn't they die like they didn't you they the, never showed the water anything. they never they never that's the thing and that's that's an, another like small nitpick we never yeah. go back no we don't know we don't get like we a phone call hey we good over here it. we just and you know we got nothing we don't get no phone call or nothing that, yeah which it, i i understand because of course at this point like you know time is of the essence we're trying to we gotta keep going we don't have a we, we can't go back and i wish we had found out after what happened to them like yeah. please tell me what's going on after oh like the as they get, it's like an after credit thing like she went back to that planet or something yeah. like the check on people or something like yeah. that but we don't get that at all um i i will say as it stuck while i was in my head right now uh mia da costa she's the director you know, black female Fantastic. director. Black women just saving Marvel as you. Yes, um, but at the same time, I love what she. She's a great director because she. I seen what she did and um, she did an amazing job with the uh, with the Candyman, the recent Candyman movie. That she was did, her. Yes. So and because of that movie, because she did another thing too, and that made her get the Candyman stuff, and then from Candyman, that's what got her the Marvels, I believe. But she's a great. Act, she's a great uh director i believe writer as well she knows her stuff i would just would love to see what she would have done originally because i know they had like they had to do like four weeks of four weeks of pre uh reshoots uh to do this movie again and that's a lot of that's a lot of reshooting time so i would love to see what was her original vision because you know the thing with marvel is that they get up and coming directors they don't get established directors they already they don't get ones that's like you know they that's been doing it for 20 years because why they can't control them 
you know, they really can't. Like, you're not, you're not going to get a, still a, a Steven Spielberg do a Marvel movie. Why? Because he got his own way of doing things. And they're not like, well, we can't control this. We can't control, control the narrative. And for Marvel, they have to like, okay, y'all, we got to hit these points here that we want to happen. Oh, don't worry about it. We already got the ending, what we want you to do. We don't go damn what you thought you was going to do with this. We need you to do this, this, and this. We already got a storyboard. A storyboard. It was like for them, it's like a special a guest director of a of a weekly TV show, you know, for them. Yeah, and, they just put in the blanks. I think that formula started with uh, Civil War because they got the directors of Community, the Russo brothers. I yes, it was either that one or or uh, uh, yes. Soldier. I think it might be Winter Soldier that did the was Russo brothers, and they mm-hmm. went from TV like a solid tv show great tv show to a marvel movie and all of a sudden that blew the fuck up and they they yeah. took over the franchise after that but then they but they had the the they, the russos are one of the few that were able to like hey I, we know what we're doing we got this we know what y'all want we're gonna give you what you want and they they make it their own you know we know what you want us to do and we're gonna do that but we gotta make it all make sense, and that's what they did. You know, uh, they also like it was a Josh Wheaton. You know, he did the sim- similar things, but he just at the while he just didn't want to hear people. You know, tell him what to do because he don't like that. He wanted to do his own thing, his own vision. Uh, <laughs> same with with uh, Eric Wright, Michael Wright, whatever. He was, he was the original director for Ant Man. But he had a, a, his old vision of what he wanted to do the original Ant Man and Edgar Edgar Wright Edgar Wright. Right. He yeah. had what he wanted to do for the original Ant Man, which would have been dope. But he did. He got tired of Disney poking ahead and saying, "No, you need to change this. You need to do this. You need to do this." And he's a person that does his own thing. Has that's why he has all the hot fuzz movies and all that stuff. And those are all successful. And they say, like, "No, we can't do this. We can't do that. You can't do think- this." I think thankfully now that the strike is over, uh, yeah. and and what's his name, uh, uh, Kevin has already been like. A lot of people haven't recepted well to some of our projects. I get that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna look very hard at what we're gonna do to make everything cohesive. Yeah, and because that's that's been one of the biggest complaints that you see online is that where is this going? What is this connected to? And I'm, and I'm, also, I'm, I'm tired I'm, of the heroes always having a villain with similar powers. It's not just similar powers, but they're always like a sympathetic villain that you kind of like. They try to. You're right, though. Like, Kill, like Killmonger started this this, this but, trend of like the villain. Yes. Like, kind of like, oh, I kind of agree with him, though. He went about it the wrong way, but I kind of agree with him, though. Right, but the same like, but also the superhero, the the villains always got to have the damn power that's close to the actual hero, and like we did the same thing. Where, like she had this, this chick had the same thing. Like she had the bangles, uh, she had the bangles doing the same thing as I do. I don't, I why you got the same power? What happened? My my roommate just showed, what's what's up. I, I, you're waving at the cam. They can't <laughs> <see you. laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a bulldog. We're, we're live right now. I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. It's so funny. Don't worry. We're editing this out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, so like you have uh, people with similar powers. This chick has the bangles, which. Is like okay, so she has similar look. Now she got the same light powers as everybody else. Well, it, there... it wasn't really that. Like she absorbed. Uh, yeah, she absorbed. Yes, and redirected it back. She had her own. She mostly used that hammer and used that that mind that 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 strategy. That was yeah. her main thing. But the only time she ever, she literally used that bangle a total of three times. Uh, once when she met Carol. Mm-hmm. I'll say twice on Carol. And one time on. Focus. And matter of fact, what planet was they on when they found that bangle? Because they were looking for that's, the second bangle on the whole it. damn series of uh, Miss Marvel. So, like, what the hell planet was that on? Like, that's, you know? that's a great question. That again, I wish had we just moved. Oh, another scene. thing. 
Yes. And another thing, what happened to that other bangle? Because at the end of the movie, Ms. Marvel don't have the other bangle on. She put oh, it no. on. If you, if you, what she, what they do with it? If you look carefully, uh, because at the end of the movie, Captain Marvel fulfills the promise she made to, uh, uh, uh D Bond. I can't remember. I can't remember yeah. his name. Uh, to revitalize that sun. She had the other bangle on her right arm when she went to the sun revitalized uh, it and when they came back to earth she had the bangle still on and miss marvel had the other bangle on if like it's it's something that a lot of people did not notice like where, uh, okay. like i literally was just like it's right it's right there you if you it's it's so quick. so they so she so they she got to do that twinsies thing then yeah like it, she, she it, like look twinsies <laughs> yeah she had like she had it on for like uh the scene to the sun and when yeah. they're moving the house into that the house in Louisiana, right? Was good. Um, when they were moving into the house, she had the bangles still on her. Oh, uh, okay. So I got like, go you back see and when look. they get in the, the little airplane when they're talking. Yeah, about yeah. It. So okay, I'm gonna go back and look a, at that. So I didn't I see that part. A spoiler alert: towards the end of the movie, after a beautiful, cohesive jumping okay. scene, yeah. one of the best jumping scenes I ain't ever seen. I love a good jumping. A good X Men, no one v one, five on one. We don't do that around here. This was beautiful. Uh, Photon Spectrum, my future wife, Miss Rombo. Uh, she gets hit with the full power of both Bengals and Captain Marvel's powers to absorb both because she's light based. Yes, so she absorbs both powers and goes into the split in reality because the bad guy, which in rarity kind of won, yeah. they kind of got what they want. You know, um, they did their own version of opening a hole in space time pit to, you know, but just yeah. in the galaxy. Like yeah. another damn thing was something in a hole. Why do we keep doing like this? This is the third time. This is like one of the, the third time we've had a space. Like, no, this is like the eightieth time because we oh, keep getting oh. shit going to throw in the air. Like, why do we keep doing this? Like, it's another thing. Instead of being on Earth and we're doing it, we're in the galaxy. We're out in space and we're doing it. Like, yeah. stop it. So she has to, she goes to the other side to close the rift using the full power, but for some reason no one realized like, hey, you gotta come through. He's like, no, I got close. I have to close it on this side. Yeah. So one way trip, and Captain Marvel's like, that's my niece, and like flies off. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> like a lot of people's like, she could. Oh, you have super speed all this time. Now all of a sudden you you kind of you just jogging over there. You trying to avoid this conflict now. Like no, oh, no, <laughs> my niece. Oh, oh shit! Okay. And just, and just at like the last second, like ah, oh, damn, damn. Oh shoot! I wish I got that a little uh, faster. But stronger, I, faster, right? Was it the strong? What was the higher, uh, higher, further, faster? And she, she, she did not do the faster part, right? Yeah. Um, I did have a moment where I watched it. Kind of echoed to me that moment, which I, I wasn't thinking it was gonna happen, but it echoed to me. Oh, Jean Grey in X Two, and uh, with the with the waterfall, with the, with the water, yeah, with the waterfall, she's like holding the back. Oh, my yeah, God. yeah, can't all in the camera. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. So it kind of like it echoed that moment to me. It kind of like like did that moment like it reminded me of Jean Grey moment, um, of the symbolism a little bit, a little bit. It's just like, oh my God, this is kind of just like that to say she's gonna sacrifice herself to save others. And it's, you know, that whole thing. And I'm like, this is dope. You know, I did like that. Um, to go back to the the, the back, uh, to the beginning of it, too, as because uh, we're going to be going back and forth all over the place. Oh, yeah. Um, I love, I love uh, Samuel Jackson in this as Nick Fury. I hated Nick Fury the way, well, to, I, to a degree. In the um, in the uh, uh, secret invasion, secret invasion. These are Let's two different. About. These are Let's two entirely different. If you would have said that was a, the one was a scroll, that would have made sense. But the fact is that is so how, we got two entirely different ones. How, how did we get a better Nick Fury in this? Because I um, he, okay, he was jump, he didn't invasion. really jump around like that, but yeah, he was yeah. more. He, was more he had more. He yeah, he had more pep in his step. Like the in the the other one, the the secret invasion. He was just like, 
I'm getting too old for this shit. He was ugh. Like it was a it was just like, man, I'm tired. Like he wanted to sit down every moment. It's like I get it. He's sixty something years old. Yeah. Secret invasion. I had I did I had I, I can't lie and say I had I had high hopes for that. I had high hopes. One of those comics that like, yo, this is a very wild thing that happens. And it didn't feel like Secret Invasion until the last three minutes of that show when people are getting killed and you don't know if they're human or they're a scroll until they change in front of you so people there are just random murders being happened and it's that that literal fear of who is who we did but you know what that, that entire they show. did they did something that i was like why the hell don't they just do this part but they did it in 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 the marvels where they in, in the, the connection when they did make a hey yeah we got scrolls here but we also have some scrolls that was under this general that found another another planet and they're on this little survivor planet whatever which is the one that we saw in this movie and we saw that general or whatever but they took those you know found the people that they couldn't have you know was able to save and they where did they take them to new asgard so you mean to tell me we have new Asgard, which we could have did this. We said this. I said this only like uh, before. Like, so you was able to find a home, a new Asgard for these people that got displaced from that place years before. I mean, years after we don't have the scrolls already displaced, and you can't find the same way for them. Mm -hmm. Or at least, hey, we find new Asgard. Hey guys, we figured this out. Hey, y'all can go over there. You know, we we get make y'all home over there, or separate it. You know, y'all got that side. Y'all go take this shit over there on the other side. You know, but no, no, we got the scrolls have a want to have a whole civil war because they ain't got no house. You know, like, so it's like invasion is. I couldn't is find the projects. I couldn't find the projects. <laughs> the projects for the scroll. Not the scroll. Not the scroll projects. Like come on now, y'all got like y'all got projects for everything else. Make it for the scrolls. And like, Secret Invasion is one of those things that I would fully admit was mid. The acting was phenomenal. Everyone did a phenomenal yeah, job. The yeah. story itself was very mid. Everyone else did their part. Sam Jackson did what he needed to do. The fact that we had old boy from Barbie, who is two different people in Barbie and this. Uh, my man, my man is going places. Yo, uh, I, this, this is what I hate, though. This is the thing I hate. When I see an actor... For the first time in one thing, and I, out of nowhere, they've been like they just out of nowhere they're just showing up in other movies and shit that's coming out later on. It's like, mm -hmm. wait, I just saw you in this. When the hell did just you start showing up in everything now? He's like, I, like I, I'm good like that. They 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 like your boy like that. I'll be filming. Maybe it's like he's I'll probably be been in movies and stuff and TV shows that we've been never did. He's like we probably just 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 never even noticed. But now that we see him in this one part, now we pick up. Oh, he was in that. Oh, he was in that. Oh shoot! I'm doing commercials now. I'm on your YouTube. Like, what the fuck? What made you? Like, I, I did like him in um, Barbie. He was funny in Barbie. I like he was it. Funny as fuck. I like him. Um, uh, but it, it was just um, like I hated the rest of the the show. But um, the, the connection between that and Mar and the Marvels, I was hoping for, for a little bit more. But especially with the scrolls. Um, and what happened to that ship being a lot of more? It was a whole scroll ship, about, like almost right, and that we saw in the um, in Spider Man, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Didn't they have like it was like when we saw um, Nick Fury in the was it uh, was the last Spider Man movie? He, oh, like, oh, it okay. was more so of a scroll ship, it was it like was, more that scrolls. Was that was Saber, Saber. He was on. And yeah. I said, you had the two scrolls, the scrolls that were in Secret Invasion, both that got got. Um, yes. Uh, that was him literally building Saber. We saw like the... the but wasn't there stuff. scrolls on that ship? Wasn't there scrolls? I, I can't remember. I can't remember. I, I, All I remember from No... I mean, I remember a lot from No Way Home. Uh, right. Far From Home. Uh, that final fight, uh, Mysterio saying, "Get this off me!" But I don't right, remember, right. Other than those two scrolls, I don't remember. Okay, uh, one question: Who the hell is funding uh, Saber? Who is funding this? Like you have a big, a big old space station. The fact you have a a a, a space elevator that look comfy as hell. You know, look like, look like a nice little trailer home. Uh, you, you know, know coming back you and forth. Are... Who is funding all this? You not, you not wrong. At the same time, Nick Fury, as we saw in Secret Invasion, he got shit hidden. 
everywhere. Yeah, but everywhere, if the president, everywhere. if the president didn't know, if the president didn't know about the scrolls, and he was like, do all this, like, if you're not part of Earth, we gonna kill you, type of thing. But yet you have a space station hovering above Earth. You, you, you're not wrong. You're not. Who wrong. the hell is? What are we doing? Like, Shield is gone. Mm. Uh, wh wh who is who? Who is putting the money up for this? Tony Stark is gone. You know, like who is who's funding all this? Like for real? Like I what? Mean, maybe Fury. Like you know, Fury. Like look, Tony. In case you go, let me cop a bag real quick. You got for real. Money. You ain't what you going What you gonna do? They, you I bet you gonna be like they're like. So how y'all get funding? Oh, oh, funding. Uh, do you do you like uh do you like conventional ovens? You like air you like air fryers, right? That was us. <laughs> We've been making money ever since. <laughs> this is all built by air fryer money. <laughs> air fryer? What y'all got? Shield air fryer here at uh, fucking exactly. Walmart. <laughs> no, no, saber by saber. It's by, by saber. <laughs> and you the you the they saber appliances. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's saber appliances, and the the best thing they have a patent on air fryers, and that's why they, that's how they get the funding. For the Saber Space Station, you know? Yeah, air fryers, Michael. Exactly. Stove, exactly. Uh, Refrigerator. Lo the, the, the little those little air the little washer and dryers that you see on TikTok. The little washer and dryers you see on TikTok? Saber. That's all Saber. Yeah. Oh uh, the little little stepping little step things and workout things you see on TikTok? Saber. Sa they did that too. You know Saber did that. I bet Saber did that. I bet they did this necklace too. I bet. Saber. Made by Saber. Mm -hmm. That whole TikTok, the TikTok shop is all Saber. Saber. I'm Plus, just saying. I, got, I bet I got this from Saber. It's crazy. I'm telling you, I'm Saber is I'm everywhere. Fucking, that's where my tax money is going to Saber. Saber, man. That's I'm telling you, Saber. That's when you say when they why, why you think groceries so high? It's Saber. Groceries that's high crazy. because of Saber, right? You're like, that's come crazy. on, man. You didn't that's know that? Crazy. Saber crazy. is the reason why everything's so high. Because they need to get the money up so they can to protect the world and the universe. That's why we have a hovering space station up there. Why do you think it's hard to get a job right now? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on. And, and I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to give you a little key fact. Amazon. Saber. <gasps> mm -hmm. Wow. All, all the little, all the, all those little, those little. Why you think we got all these Amazons everywhere? They spaceports. That's all that is. Then you go in, you come, you know what? They go back up, you know. Yeah, that's how it is. It's all that it is. Spaceports, so bro. Amazon. Ass. We got, got you. Ass. Now, Amazon. We. I'm just saying. You. We yeah. You. I'm just saying, man. Saber has been behind this you whole thing the whole time. You rearrange, <laughs> you rearrange the letters in Amazon. Yep. <laughs> So I mean, they, you know, they just didn't want they they had to call it Amazon because they can't get they don't want to have a monopoly on their hands. Mm -hmm. So they had to make it that. But it's, Amazon is you know it's really saber. You know what I'm saying? That's like when you had Disney and you had the the other film studios and stuff. They can't call it Disney because they were showing like damn near porn with Pretty Woman. So it's like you know what we're gonna call it this, but it's still all under Disney. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what they did, and that's how you know that's saber. You know. Crazy. That's the funding. That is the funding for Sabre. Yes, that's, that's how we got all that. Um, greedy ass capitalism. That's crazy. Exactly. That's at its best, baby. At its best. Um, now, the cats on in this movie, I, love I had a problem with that. You had a problem with uh, the cats? Because a lot of people yes. said they stole the movie. Now, I knew that the whole egg, whatever brain looking thing that was, I already knew that's what it was right off the bat. Because I was like, let me guess. The cat had eggs, right? it? Because it's an alien cat. Why not the make moment, it have eggs? The moment it said, that cat looking pudgy. I'm like, that cat eating a That goddamn cat's pregnant. Am I about to get a bunch of flurkins? Because, like, that also happened in the comics where, like, her and Racket Raccoon just find a thing of just flurkins. And I'm like, yeah. And the fact that. And the fact that they just swallow you and you're in a whole other pocket dimension, mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how you did digest it. How does that work? Like, I don't, look, the fact that I don't that understand cat tesseract and they just spat it back up is like, yeah okay. I mean, we already can tell that like, nothing gets destroyed. No, it just yeah. come back, y'all. Like what? But yeah. still, 
So but the fact, that, I, yeah, like they use that, like, look, we can't fit all y'all on ship. Y'all gonna have to get eat by the cat. Which was like, smart. Which was smart. Well, I would have been like, ah, you, I'm a runner, I'm a track star. Please don't eat me. Cat. But you I saw that. But the money, the funny thing about it, I did say I thought was funny was the part where they say, "Let them eat you, yeah. let them eat please, you, please, do please, not run so away." Please don't. And, and, <laughs> and yet they, but then she thought she was like, she thought she was safe, and she turned around. There was two kittens just looking at her like, <laughs> like that was terrifying. Like I they could have put, look, I if you put some asking for a raise right then and there. Give me more money. I don't now, give a damn. Now, my thing is, too, like, if you're able to, like, if someone was able to go ahead and edit that part into some, like, some real, like, horrifying music to it and really make it dramatize it, the like, dramatize the whole thing, oh, that, that could be a horror film right there. Mm. Uh, like, you know, killer cats or whatever, killer, killer alien cats or whatever. Oh, my God. You have Peter all over that shit. You know, they they would be they be mad as hell. You know, um, but I did thought it was, I thought it was funny. It was a good idea, whatever. But still, I'm like, oh, so let me guess. With this type of movie, pussy saves the day. <laughs> oh my back! Oh, oh, I popped my back! Oh god! That was another. That was oh. another. That was a little moment for y'all. Y'all want to be like, oh, pussy saves the day again, like. <laughs> Like, oh, <laughs> I, I see, I, I see what y'all did there. I see what y'all did. I see what y'all did. It's a woman-led film. You know, they got to save the world. And why not throw in some pussy? Throw in some cats. Just trying to help people. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I see what y'all did. Because it would make sense. It would not make sense if it was a bunch of alien dogs, you know, <laughs> doing it. You know, why not put some alien cats? They gotta swallow people to save the day, aka pussy. <laughs> I see what y'all did, did, Disney. I did. I see what y'all did. Y'all ain't slick. Y'all ain't Jack slick. Is smiling somewhere right now. Yo, bro. I see what you did. I ain't dumb. I ain't <laughs> dumb, y'all. Like I figured it out. I figured it out. Y'all, y'all want to make sure on every level, pussy is. This movie is about pussy. This movie is about pussy saving the day. You know. Part of my French, you know, um, <laughs> but still, but, uh, but, I, but I digress, I digress. I digress. Like um, I, I like the movie a lot. No, at certain points, I like the movie. I didn't like certain parts. Uh, did, did we forget that the, 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 the brother of Kamala Khan had a black wife because she was nowhere to be found. Well, uh, okay. A lot of care. Let's be honest. We really didn't well, they need didn't. wife. We didn't need Kamala's True. best friend to show up. We didn't need the new leader of their um of their Yeah, family. you're right, you're right, you're we right, really, you're right. We really needed the family, which I think they were in a little bit too long. Just just like the mom know. was hilarious. She's like, I do not give you permission. You're gonna save the world. Like and look, let's be honest, that's every um that's that, that was every mom and like that felt genuine. Like I, yeah. you bet not I, I swear. I, like I I personally love that. You we really didn't need the brother there. No, that's what I'm saying. Cause even when they was down in Louisiana, I'm like, where is your wife? <laughs> you just left your wife again? Where is she? Is she sick somewhere? Like she don't she miss you? Don't you miss and, your wife? Like here's the thing, and again a pod call blur. Uh, Once that. again, oh yeah, I would like to shout out a pod called Blurred. Y'all are hilarious. I'm just I saying. Uh, you put me, you put me on to them, I and know. I kid you not, I cannot stop laughing as I kept driving. I was, I forgot where I was driving to, but I stayed driving a little longer because that shit was just so funny. They're, it's they're, so it's hilarious. But they're great. They, they have a great point that they did yes. the family dynamic or the family like helping better than Blue Beetle. Mm. And like I didn't even think about that, because like that fight, that first fight, we see all three of them like kind of using their powers to switch in and out of places, right. which is a thing that's in the whole movie. Um, they 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 should not have been like even standing. These are aliens in like alien armor, like right. Arrows having like punch photons, having to punch like three or four times. 
Right. They, they should be getting a, they should be getting washed. Let's be honest. But they're right. like you know they're and they're, they're not winning. Obviously, there, there's some scenes like the, they're getting close to like getting meek meek, and you know, the hero says today. But in Blue Beetle, the whole family can just you know. The, mm-hmm. You got grandma with a Gatling gun. You got I love that back. grandma was and hot. And it's like, mm, yeah. I don't, Ah, I, I still need to like actually watch the rest of the movie. I've only seen I, that clip. I and... did. I did see what they did. One part though that I really like, I really thought was amazing. Just little little pockets of amazing moments, uh, and that was like the the soldiers, whatever, in the house, or Camilla's house. The father gets knocked down, whatever, and the mother, the wife, she goes over her husband, like to sacrifice herself. For a husband, mm-hmm. I mean, she she gets saved. You know, they did the little yeah. switch, and she was able they, to get. They, you know, they, like, they pull the spear, before, like she grabs spear before she. Yeah, so she it. didn't die, but I love the fact that she was so selfless at that moment. For her, like she she loved her she loved her husband more than herself. You know, which she, you know, and she jumped in, but she jumped in the middle of that. It's like, no, you gonna take both of us out or just me? You're not gonna take him out. No, that's my husband. Like she went she, to go try to save bro. her man. The I mama, love that moment. That mama, the mama is a real one. Miss Con. I love that actress. I love that actress. She's amazing. She's an amazing actress. I've seen her some th- uh, some other things too, but like I don't, I don't think I've ever seen her in this light as a mom. As a you know this type of in this type of format, mm-hmm. but she's dope. She's amazing. And even in that moment, and like the look of her face the whole time, like she made sure like you ain't killing my man. That's my man. You know, like I love that little with moment with my man. Is that I'm really the one <laughs> really to bring it to, to you? Yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I love that little moment. Um, every I swear, every little pocket of amazing moments with Camilla Khan is there. Like I'm, she's Camilla, so sweet. She, she is, is so sweet. She was the star. Like, oh my god, her honestly, and that's one of the things I definitely wanted to bring up. Their chemistry, because you said earlier, like Brie Larson didn't just emote mm-hmm. all three of them together and her and sam jackson pulled something out of brie because she was amazing like when they did like the rock paper scissors thing she was like hmm yes and it's like why would you and she's like i that's that's on me it's like i giggled so hard yeah. so like ah uh, and then like them learning how to switch between their powers and learning mm-hmm. how to like work together cohesively it was like okay you give Bree someone to bounce off with, or you give this character someone yes. to bounce off yes. with, it brings more to life. But I really do wish they, her and Monica had like a. Uh, I feel like it was kind of forced at moments. They forced that at moments to have that awkward stuff going on. Well, let's but be they honest, didn't need to. All these moments, a lot of these characters have forced moments, like Cap and Steve, uh, Bucky and 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 Falcon, like. But I feel like it was natural, though. Those are like, I feel like those are natural moments that they, you know, they did. But it's like for this, like for this script or whatever, for this writing, it's like we need a little tension here and there. We need these little tension moments. And it's like, I don't think there really are enough tension moments. It's like, she's like, you were supposed to be back. Bitch, you were a child. Okay. At the same time, let's, let's look at it. And like, I was saving the world. I had to let's save the at, galaxy. Let's look at it from Monica's point of view, right? She was what, maybe seven years I'm not old. Not trying to say bitch either. Like, yeah, no, just no. Um, you're seven years old. Yep. You this person that you've looked up to, your mom and your your aunt. Mm-hmm. Your aunt is superpower, and you see her fly off the space. That immediately sets in you the goal. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go yeah. to space. I'm gonna do everything possible. Then your mom gets cancer, right? And you're still hoping your auntie comes back, right? Because that's your hero. That's yeah. that, other than your mom. That's another one you hear. That's mom. Might as well be mom number two. Doesn't come back. Doesn't come back. Mom beats cancer, but the cancer comes back. You're right. gone, and you have to watch through your your auntie's memories of, hey, I'm dying again, and it's bad this time. Don't tell my daughter. And now, mm-hmm. now you have to have that emotional load put on you. Right, and then she dies, but you don't get to see her die. You get blipped out. Oh yes, seven right. She got years. blipped. Yeah, seven yeah. years, and you come back. And that she was I thought it was five. Gone. Oh, five. Sorry. Yeah, five, five years. years. Yeah. So five years of your life gone, and your mom is gone. 
You mm-hmm. didn't get to say goodbye. You didn't get to do anything. That's gone. And, and, your, and, auntie, and, and your mom probably thought you were dead too. Yeah, and your auntie, she's still off world dealing with her own shit because she feels she's not worthy enough to come back to you because she feels she wasn't she didn't do right because she messed up another planet she didn't fulfill a promise to her best friend so now she's trying to make sure she feels worthy enough to be back in your uh light in your presence i guess is Mm -hmm. that's right so like all that is happening and you don't know she don't know y'all both having all these feelings but you gotta put them to the side for a brief moment to save the entire universe. Now, now did she? But she, she never went. She never went to go see her before she died. The best friend, I mean the the, the mother, like uh, Captain Marvel. She never went to go. Carol saw her in that vision, like um, when she was at think... the house. But Monica wasn't at the house. Monica was gone somewhere. They never. I think she was in, either in college. But she was like she the was... cancer came back, she, and I'm yeah. like. Was she talking to Carol? Like Carol came she back. Like that Carol. Like Carol had already came back, and she told us she was keep keep something. I can't remember what yeah. she wanted you to keep. Keep the cat. Yeah. Because it was just like there was a moment there. Because I'm like, she's like the cancer came back. It's you know spreading whatever. We're like, so she had to be talking to Carol. Like Carol had to show back up. You know, you know, she could do all this stuff, but she just didn't happen to see Rambo Monica at the time when she went to sit. You know when. She's, you know, talked to the mom, you know, because like she had it known, like that's an I, emergency type of situation. Like I gotta be there for, you know, for her. like if she was able to get like some type of thing for uh for for Fury, she had to have something for her best friend to like signal me, hey, here's a beeper for you too, type of thing, you know, like hey, hey, this should happen. Monica's Monica's blipped and I got cancer. Come help, <laughs> yeah. something. At the same time, who knows? After that blip, that mom might have honestly just already had passed away right as she right. got blip. We don't. That's the one of the things we just don't know. We but don't I'm saying, know. like in that five year time frame, when they had did the blip, because everybody was gone, a lot of people already get was disappeared. The mom was still alive at, for a know. moment of time. Oh. But no, they say that remember she was already like the mom died before cause Monica was blipped. The mom was already the mom. Uh, they were both in the hospital. Like she was in the hospital room with uh, hey. her mom, and when she came back, the room was completely different. The bed was already. Yeah, because she was. Because matter of fact, she was in the bed where her mom was in the bed because she had the cancer. I remember now, and she got blipped. Mm-hmm. Like Monica was blipped while she was still there waiting with her mom. So when she came back, she's like, "Wait, hold up, where's my mom at?" Mm-hmm. And from her knowledge, she started back where she was at. Yeah, so okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm playing back the episodes and the movies. Oh, yeah. oh look, you know, look. it's so much, man. It's so I much. I like, I'm like, I can't keep up. I got you. I uh, got you. Um, hyper fixation, bitches. Hyper fixation. <laughs> okay, uh, now, speaking of the mom and daughter, now, now the actress who played Monica Rambo, I've known of her since, uh, what's I really liked her when I first saw her on uh, Survivor's Guild, where it was a great show on Stars. And I thought she was great and fine then. Whew, and I thought she was fine. I mean, she's she's a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman. Gorgeous woman. Tiana Paris. Uh, Tiana Paris. She's a go- gorgeous woman. Great actress. Uh, I, I thought she was like damn fine when she was up in um up in uh up in WandaVision. But boy. She know how to fill out a super suit. Mm. Just saying. So I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be the sexist guy. I don't want to. But I'm man, just, I just gotta give it up just, to my black queen. Cause boy, saying, she God, made black and white look good. I'm just saying. I know uh, this might be a controversial statement. I believe Uh-oh. God is a woman, mm-hmm. and I believe God is a chi- is a chaotic bisexual at this rate. Cause there ain't no way. There ain't no way you made all this fineness. I, like, I, I, not just we'll get to her. Not just when she stood next to Monica when she and her when she stood next to Brie Larson with Captain Marvel. She made like Captain Marvel ain't got no type of shape to nobody. <laughs> like I'm sorry, I'm just not really attracted to her. 
But when you stood next to her and you see that shape, that pacao, like that cult battle, I was like, Jesus. Ooh, who made this suit? Who, the, right, <laughs> yes, exactly. Who made this suit? Because it didn't make no sense for her to make. She filled that suit out real good. I loved it. Scene, I was like, just like, girl, I got you. I got, I'm, I'm going to make you look good, girl. I can't yeah. wait for con season to see so many black women. Just oh, about her. There's already. I, I already saw a couple. Seen. Yes, yes, and I mean they're doing it good. They're doing it because all we because I think all we had before was just a little sweatshirt from from one division that girls was doing here and there for cosplay, whatever. Yeah. But now yeah. you got a full you got full on suit. Outfits. You got yeah. You got the the biker jacket like the white and black biker jacket. No, that's the yeah. that was actually the uh, uniform. Oh. oh. That was because well, yeah. the black dude had the the black dude and the um, right. You're right. There was that uniform, which I would like to have because they need to make that hot yeah. topic. They make everything else. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, that. Give me that. Then, they, then they went when they went to the singing planet, and everyone got the suits. Especially Carol's like OG, uh, yeah, Marvel suit, which I was like, oh, I oh, like that suit. I really oh, like that Marvel God. suit. Like and I really it, dig oh, that. that. I really dug that one. Yes. It kind of had like it's kind of like if this suit was made in the nineties, they would do it like this. Instead of making it all black, they have it muted. You know, the color's muted in a way. It still shows the color, but like it was in that, it really came out in that daredevil time frame. Everyone's character designs was great in this. Movie. Yeah, like, everyone's designs was amazing. Yeah, From uh, the, even wasn't they had the grill? The girl had a grill. The the, the bad guy, she had a nice like, little grill on her, like you know, on top and down the bottom. Like I'm like, is she got go too? Is that a go too? Oh shoot! Look, look, look at Loki's wife. Look at look at you. Uh, yes. Oh, I did not know that was his wife too. Neither uh, did I. I did not know. Um, so she kind of reminded me of um. Uh, she kind of resembled to me of uh Ghost, the the actor who's the actress who played Ghost in the Ant Man movie. Yeah, who we have not seen anything of in the last. Like, well, she she she's supposed to be in the. Uh, Thunderbolts, Thunderbolts. But I, I hope they. Uh, I think she can't do the the film, so I hope they find. I hope they find another actress to play that character, uh, because I love that ghost character. The ghost is that ghost character is really dope, um, and I would love to keep that character going on in the in the Thunderbolts because I think that would be a great asset for them to have as as a team member, and they, you could do a lot with that. Not so much. Uh, Taskmaster, because that they was horrible looking. Um, keep that helmet on, please. Uh, <laughs> just, just don't take that off, please. Do not. Uh, like the only way they can save that character is if they say, "Hey, she became she went she changed from trans uh what uh male to female to male to make it all make sense." Because I don't know. I I feel in that universe. I would, it make it a male sense. character. Make that it make that a male character. Me. It makes sense it is, in that universe. That that CGI for Taskmaster was horrible. When they, it was it was just like how how I felt when I saw uh, Bruce Banner in the 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 um, the Iron Hulk. Um, oh, with like suit. like the head was big. The, he got it just it and just did. Like was- yeah, it just didn't look right to me. Still to this day, I didn't like that. Um, and that's what it looked like for her. It's like, so you gonna put a grown man? Because the whole time it was a it was a dude stunt double, it was a guy stunt man doing the whole thing, did the whole movie, and then you want to switch it around to put this put this woman there, and then for the fact, how is she like the same age as fucking uh, uh, Scarlet Witch? I mean, not Scarlet Witch, uh, Black Widow when she was a child, supposed to be killed. I'm just. I got you. So. Uh, Sorry, Rambo off this book your Marvels, but there's so many inconsistencies I, I here some, and there. I did digging on that one. They uh, because they found the same, not the same, but a similar formula of a serum like they did for the widows, because all widows have a slowed aging, and they did the same to the the dar. The dar was basically the um, not the pre, mm-hmm. but I guess I guess a good term is precursor for all these new widows that were coming through. Her okay. daughter was the precursor. She was the one that so they aged off. her up. And it was a formula to age her. Not age her because she survived, and it. Okay, 
I can't. I can't see. I I, I know how you're, to you're, say. It. I just can't. You're word you're, it you're doing a, you're doing better writing than they did. <laughs> well, here's like that's what you're doing. Complaining about that, and I I have had this. I for a long time I separated myself from comic book six one six and movie six one six. And it made sense to me to make Taskmaster for the Black Widow movie, which should have had way more time and should have came out before Infinity War, in my honest opinion. I mean, yes, it would have been it would have been great in two thousand five. Uh, I was two thousand was it Infinity War was two thousand. No, no, I'm saying like no, I'm saying like like uh, her movie would have been great if it was like the first round, the first time we got Iron Man or whatever. Um, or ninety or dare or daredevil. Um, maybe like second, like right. It definitely should she would, up she was she would that would have been a great movie in nineteen ninety seven. That's a, that was, yeah yeah. I mean, uh, okay, if we're I'm, gonna do ninety seven, I mean, get the same director that did like the movie where like Robert who was Robert Nero and uh Jean uh Ronan. If you got yeah. the director to do that or the Born Identity. I'm with it. I'm I with mean, it. yeah, Every, yeah, but I'm, but at the same time, it's like, like there, was, I, there was enough hands and feet from Black Widow in in this movie. It's, it, like, that's one of her best. But like, the, like every if you're gonna do Taskmaster, should have made it female the whole way through. Like as a as as the performer, like in the suit, should have made it female the whole way through. But the whole body head situation just didn't make sense at all. It's like because you see, like, clearly see her neck is skinnier. And longer than the actor playing Taskmaster, like with the helmet on, you know, and he's bulkier. It's just, it's just like, just tell me you got a robot suit or something, please. That, it I, might, honestly, that might have just been. Look, let's be honest, Marvel and CGI, they love to rush these things, and that oh, microphone, that just looks yeah. like. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably. Re- I'm not rewatching the whole movie. I'm watching. I'm just gonna. Watch there's some. Movie. There's certain movies I just don't want to watch over again. Like I watched Black Widow, and I was like, okay, I did it. Uh, I, I saw. I saw. I'll watch, uh, the, fight. I'll watch for the fight sequences. I I, 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 I watched that movie just to say I watched it. I did it. I accomplished it. But I watched all the scenes with the sister online over and over because she's just amazing. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Pew, whatever her name is. Uh, oh, Florence Pew. Florence Pew. Like I watched her scenes over and over because she was the best part of the whole movie. You know, her and the father. You know, those were the best parts. Uh, <laughs> those are fine. I was fine with seeing those over and over. Uh, I watched Captain Marvel maybe once. Yeah, one time, and I saw bits and pieces. Like when I'm, if I'm at work, it'd be on TV. Whatever. Um, but that's about it. I don't. I feel like okay. I, I don't need to watch this again. I'm good. Um, this is one of those things I might watch again. This movie of the Marvel. I'll definitely. I'll definitely. I watch might it. watch it again because there's still there's little things in there, but also I like the like I said. I love Camilla Khan. I love this character. Uh, she's really dope. The actress. Oh my god. She's just. She's so damn cute. She's a grown yeah. woman. She's a grown woman, but she gives you that I'm, that Peter Parker vibe. Yo, she has. Absolutely. She and, says that Peter Parker vibe. And, and it leads to the first of the two post credit scenes of a nod right. to the very first uh, introduction of Nick Fury. You have Kamala in the chair going, you think they meant word for word. They meant word Power from word for <laughs> Iron Man. We meet my girl, Kate motherfucking Bishop and Lucky the Pizza Dog. I'm putting together a team. Did Please you know did you know Ant Man had a daughter? <laughs> like uh, Camilla is she, this actress is so great. She's good. She's I so love great. it. And she's, and she's so a adorable. fan. She's a fan because she she posted a picture of her before like the like that she wanted to be Captain Marvel. Marvel. I mean Miss Marvel with her own little baby costume that she did for Halloween or whatever on cosplay. And now as a young when she was younger, and now she actually playing her. And and she's, first ro- this was her first first ever, and, and she's knocking out of heart, killing it, killing it. Think about and how think about being twenty one, a twenty one year old, right? First wow. time acting, you get you get your first TV show and now a movie. Regardless the the the, the frenzy and the the reviews, but you're working for Disney, and you got a you got a, you got a Disney check. Life is good, dude. You can Life go to Disney. Good. You can go to Disney parks all the time. If you and want people, to, and they're gonna see they're no, I know a lot of people are going representation bullshit. Like this is beautiful representation. 
Yeah. This is this is why there's a thing called representation. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to try to word this as calmly and as peaceful as possible. Go ahead. A lot of bros love to shit on these current phase of MCU. The MCU is woke, all that all that stuff. I get it. The 10 years we have Marvel was amazing, right? You are really loving that prime. I'm trying <laughs> my best <laughs> right now. I, I, I'm trying to figure out how to drink it because <laughs> it is so sweet. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> it is so sweet. I'm, I'm like, 20, yeah, it's 20 calories in it. I'm like, how? Because I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack with this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like, it's like they can somebody make Kool Aid and they just dump way more sugar in the Kool Aid. And it's like, ooh, just right. Because I haven't had five when I when I tasted it, like my eyes flicker a Which little is, bit. And, you yeah, need, just you need, you need to chase it with water. That's what you need. yes. I need I need to, I need to put some water in this because uh, like to dilute this bad boy because this is ridiculous. But, uh, I'm trying to get a sponsorship, but damn. <laughs> you might um, not. We had before I can get it. Yeah. I might Iron I Man. might I might get a sponsorship out of drinking it because I might do I might die. It's like oh, okay, let's give it to him now because. <laughs> Shit. Wait, they they pay for my funeral. Um, you had Iron Man to Endgame, right? She the, with the a she verse, she verse, MC verse. Yes. So let's right. talk about it. All these movies. And yes. Now go ahead. We're in a post Endgame world, and people yep. are complaining. There's too many. It's too woke. There's too many representation. It's like a lot of y'all have clearly never read a comic book, mm. and. I partially blame the movies for this because a lot of these are taking stuff from the from the comic books, put them in the movie, and now the movies are mm. changing all the comic books from uh, stories, all that. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. Right. Here's my thing. Comic books are ever changing and ever evolving. Mm -hmm. no nothing's ever going to stay the same. Captain America is not the same character he was. 10 15 years ago he has the same basic principles but he's like everyone else has grown and changed just like our audience the audience right. we, we start watching these when we were like what some people were like seven i was 17 18 in college as a freshman when iron the first iron man came out i know you looking over there like i was age is catching up don't 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 think on it too hard don't don't do that. i'm not trying to even, i'm not even trying to do the math right now i'm, I'm scared i don't we, want to and when endgame came out we were entering our 30s i was 28 a lot of people were like adults had kids have mortgages have graduated college have life has happened and mm. now you're looking at these movies are like you know this ain't the same and ain't, ain't hidden the same because we've all changed we've all gone through right. shit and we're not that same person and it's gotten to a point where we're super people are just super 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 critical just because it's not what they grew up with mm -hmm. and for that i have to say respectfully get over it mm. not not in an asshole way mm -hmm. just get over it go okay. to the movies and have fun that's what these movies main goal is not just to also bring in money but for people to have fun i've said this many times before we are living in a golden golden age of movies you have everything you could possibly want you want your arts movies you got that you want comic book movies you got that you want action movies you got that you want high production indie movies you got that mm -hmm. but right now for us nerds you have Marvel putting out movies. You have DC putting out movies. I had to fight that one. You have Image. You have uh, uh, Variant. You have a bunch of different brands all producing content for us to consume and Great. watch and enjoy. And it might not always hit. Right. I will gladly say that. I will 100% say not every Marvel product is going to hit perfectly. Not every DC product is going to hit perfectly. The 
let's be honest, the boys is always going to hit. They haven't missed yet so far with that, especially with Gen V, Invincible. Mm-hmm. We're like, and just hear hear that we have the boys, the uh, one of the most graphic comic books on TV, knocking out the park. You have Invincible, one of the most graphic graphic novels ever made, with a lot of problems in it, hitting out the park on TV. We are living in a wonderful age of nerdum that our nerdery is making money. Granted, at the expense of art. We're choosing profit over art. I get that. A lot of people do not like that. But at the same time, if we didn't, what would we have? We would have another 15, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh... He, he did the town. Uh, uh, oh, you mean, uh, 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 I don't even talk about, uh, uh, Ben Affleck. Not Ben Affleck, uh, the director. Um, ben Affleck? Mars Corsetti. Oh, okay. A lot, Wait, that's thought Ben Affleck did the town. I, I'm thinking of the party, that's my bad. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, that's on me. But you have a lot of people who love Martin Scorsese movies. The guy, yeah, right. I'm, I'm not saying he did The Godfather. He might have done The Godfather. I, I really no, know. he did. Okay, so you have like movies like The Godfather. You have no, wait, no, like, he didn't. Actually, no. Damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're killing my magic. You have movies sorry. like The Godfather. <laughs> you have movies like current movies like The Whale with Brendan Fraser. You have movies, beautiful, tragic, art, high art movies. I'm telling you right now, I am not into those movies. I can't watch those movies for the sheer fact. I already deal with that shit in the real world. Why would I want to see it on the big screen played out by Mm -hmm. an actor if I'm already living it? I have zero interest. I'm not going in here to watch movies so I can be sad and depressed. I'm going in here to have a laugh, to have fun with my friends, which is something I did seeing the Marvels, which is why I have no problem saying this movie is a good movie, eight out of 10 at best. I love this mm-hmm. movie. I'm getting the DVD. I'm going to support the movie as best I can, even though we're coming right after a strike. This movie was barely promoted and it's already grossing. It's not doing the money that it's supposed to. And you have all the fanboys typing with their horrible screen caps or or right. like the edits of like awful CGI, Brie Larson or, or Miss Marvel saying the MCU's dead. This is the worst movie ever. Like, don't please for the love of God, don't listen to these people who clearly don't touch grass, who just want the same boring characters for movie after movie. They they really just want what they think the Punisher is. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. one one uh, one track, no dimensions to them. Just one type of character. Like I saw a picture, someone posted a Thor. Of like an edit of him like a Norse like an actual Viking like it looked like they took Chris Hemsworth's face and put it on one of the characters from Vikings yeah and like Thor the Fallen of Valhalla or something like that this is what oh, yeah. Thor should be this is the, this is the Thor I know and it's like my brother in Christ that is we're talking about two different Thors. Thor in the comic books and Thor in, in the Norse mythology are two different people. Granted, current run right now, a lot, of, a lot of writers have been tying in Norse mythology, but we're going off of like 2010, 2012. The different people. These are different characters. And I, I know you got your moment right now, like you try, but I might interject. Uh, they tried to make him serious. Yes. And two movies, and it did yes. not work. It did not. It and, did, I was actually gonna say that Dark Dark World in the first. Dark, I, and I oh. kind of like I didn't, I didn't mind Dark World Dark World. I didn't mind it, but they made it to try to make it serious. They tried to make especially Dark World. They made it even more serious than the first one, but it didn't work with people until no. he became more goofy, and then it worked. And it and so it, it's like and maybe, maybe I will say even though I do like Love and Thunder, we went a little bit too far with it. Oh yeah, went a little. They went. They, went, they just, we, they just we, went over the board. We, with that we went one. way was, over. We went o- way over. Uh, but at the same I was, time, I, I love. I truly do uh, love the character of of Thor going from wanting to be king to becoming king, losing it, and now becoming a father. And him, that's a lot of growth a lot. happening. And it's we we ain't, we ain't ready to talk about it. But I'm just right. saying, my my whole thing is. 
just have fun when you go see a movie mm -hmm. just enjoy what we got because we don't know how much longer this shit's gonna last with the way the world is right now everything is on fire we're all fighting for our lives right now let's just go to the movies and just have fun this is coming from someone that used to break down these movies every single year for five years nitpicking researching i stopped doing that and i'm having a blast just enjoying movies again instead of just criticizing and nitpicking and looking for every bad thing i'm just going to watch a movie to watch a movie for fun if you start doing that i promise you you're gonna have a great time i'm just okay. saying all right so let me just add, add my little two cents and then we're going to talk about the end credits and then we yes. out um the very the, the main end credit that very important um let me just get up Oh, oh, you gotta take a shot. Oh my god. Oh, it's a long shot. All right. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm. Mm. Prime Ultra. Oh. Ooh. He got the. He got no, the I don't drink. I just, I just need this for dramatic effect. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I will try to go back in time. Let me get my. I got my temp pad here. How about you, know, you got a temp pad? Where the fuck you get a temp pad from? I got a ten pad. Don't worry about it. Um, take it back to like the nineties. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's see. You got a portal anywhere? Nope. Okay, it ain't working. All right, I'm gonna take it back to the nineties with, with my ten pad here. Um, yes. Um, the nineties, we had little to nothing of superhero movies. It was. It was a godsend if you was able to get a blank man. Uh, you know, uh, we it, it was special. We got a RoboCop or uh, or what was it? Uh, or when it starts, we started getting X Men movies. We all know how those timelines is all screwed up. But if we, or Blade, especially Blade, um, we got a superhero movie maybe every five years. So. You know, to like, you know, Spider Man starts showing up, then we start getting like maybe one or two superhero movies every year or so, every other year until like the MCU started. And then we have like two movies a year. And those are special moments, you know, cool. Now we're got, now we get so much superhero stuff because it's the thing now, much like how we had like the zombie movies, you know, I mean, zombie TV shows everywhere for a moment. This the superhero genre is, like it's just overflowing so much that we're just desensitized by anything. So that means the the graphics, the 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 writing, everything. Like we're so desensitized because we get we get so much of it, which is fine. But we gotta understand that you know, especially me. I I remember those days of like watching the first X Men movie, going to the theater. And loving every, every moment of it, seeing the first, or uh, seeing the first Spider-Man movie, and loving the first movie, and like, oh my God, this is the greatest ever. Not thinking about the the technical babble of everything, but enjoying the movie because we never get to see this on a regular. And like, oh my God, this is great. Or even a Star Wars movie we didn't get that many, you know. Now we got so much of the Marvel with DC, Star Wars, or every other superhero genre uh uh superhero person we want to get that we don't know about we about to know about uh what shoot uh what's it, like what is it um vin diesel doing wasn't that domino uh I triple I x the triple x the one that he's uh with the uh but he can't die he get that bulletproof the bloodshot oh bloodshot God. so even even movies like bloodshot we movie characters like bloodshot are getting movies so it's like we go we get so desensitized from everything now the superhero wise not knowing that when there when there was little movies we took those movies and just nom, nom, digested nom. them and took our time with it and we watched them over and over because we didn't have that many now we get so much and when it comes to the 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 whole thing about the women stuff I do agree at some points that I feel like it's like they're really pushing the narrative more when it comes to the female agenda with superheroes. But you don't like because at the same time, I mean I feel like yeah, they are pushing the narrative with trying to have more female heroes. 
like it, but the thing is, it's like they act like there never was a female hero stuff before. We had great stuff. What, do anybody remember Xena Warrior Princess? Like, like great movie. Uh, what hero like hero led films? Like, like the 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 hero is a female in the movie. Like, A Long Kiss Goodnight is one of my favorite movies of all times. You know, A Long Kiss Goodnight. If you haven't seen it, is a great Christmas film. Gina, uh, Gina Davis, I love her to death. Uh, gotta look it up. Her, Samuel Jackson, I please tell you, you, you won't regret it. Um, other movies like La Femme Nikita, like they, all these other films, like you have these shows, these movies that have been out for years, but they act like it's, it's brand new to have uh, female led stuff. Look, we've been had them, we've had them for years, but people are just so dumb with the uh, oh, we need to make this now, it's an agenda. It's like, no, if you keep pushing things, people are not going to want watch it, you know, because I get it. Yes, you want to have more females watch these movies and stuff. You can do that, but you can do it in a way where you're not isolating everybody else, too, or making some other people feel certain type of ways. It's like, no, everybody can have their peace and what they want out of it, but you just got to get the writing correct. You know, get the writing there. The writing has to be there for everything to flow the right way. Yes, like look at matter of fact, the the Ghostbusters movie with the all female led movie, that was horrible. But the agenda was we want to make it an all female led movie because that's what they want to do. They let you know this is what we want to do, and this is going on. You gotta you better get with it or get lost. And people are like, all right, no, we good. No, we good. And then what happened? Oh, we didn't see it because y'all sexist. Nobody wants to see it because it's it, no, the movie sucked. The movie sucked a lot of ass. It, like it, it was not good. But then when we got the recent Ghostbusters movies, the recent Ghostbusters movies, it was pretty good. I didn't like. I didn't mind it at all. And you had a diverse group in that movie. And then now we're about to get a sequel that has young and old, men and female, in the same damn team. It's like, and I, I, and everybody's loving that. Nobody's having no type of why is that more women? Why is that more men? No, we're taking it for what it is because we know the writing is going to be there. The writing is going to be good, so it makes sense. Uh, so it's just like we just got to stop with the whole nitpicking of everything. Uh, it's so like 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 going off what you said earlier. There's so much stuff going on in the world right now. I want to be able to just see a movie and watch a movie. And not have to think there's what's the agenda behind it. <laughs> what are you trying to put out there? You know, like, just make a good movie. So just just make a goddamn good movie. Like I can't wait to see Echo. Cause it looks good. It looks fun. Yeah. It looks like a fun ride. Not because she's a superhero or she's a female. No, it looks like a fucking good fucking TV show. And I get and even that reminds me of a long get a long kiss goodnight as a but as a long format TV show. I'm telling you by the way. Watch that movie. It's a good movie. Um, it's on Tubi. Let you know. Um, just you know, we, we there's a lot of movies coming out, and we gotta like just. T- I just want a movie right now to just take me away from the bull that's going on in the world. Mm. You know, I'm trying to go on Instagram and see in a a a dismembered child. Yeah. You know, uh, I when I. When I watch this movie, yes, it's not. I don't. It's not a bad or good movie. It's a good movie. It's. It's. I can't say it's either bad or good. It's a movie. You know, it's. It took me away from the bull that I was watching that I see in real world, in the real world, and they be like, you know what? I accepted it and I had a good time. You know, just like the, just like I do with the Fast and Furious movies. I know it's gonna be crazy and ridiculous, oh, yeah. but I'm gonna watch it because it takes me away from the real world for at least a couple hours. You know, in the Fast and the Furious franchise with my whole chest, my whole body, I'll plant that flag on my. That's my hill. I'll die on that mountain. I will defend that whole like, franchise. I I love those movies because it takes me away from the BS. Even though I know factually, science, like science, science Everyone facts. Should be dead. Everyone yes, should be dead. <laughs> none of this stuff should work, but yet we still watch it, and it's such a diverse film. Of crew, like it, it's not more women than guys or girls. That you know, it's everybody has their own thing. Everybody's doing their thing. It's an ensemble, cla- uh, ensemble, uh, yeah. like version group cast, and it's like we love it. So it's like 
sometimes when you try to work certain motives into things, it's like, oh man, we, I see what you're trying to do. This is not, I don't feel the sincerity in when y'all make this movie. Y'all not making a movie because it's a good story. Y'all making this movie or this show because y'all want to fit this, y'all want this type of look. Y'all want, uh, it's like, it's like a CW, a CW show. Like you gotta have one black guy, one uh, one uh, white guy, a, a, a trans person, a lesbian. A, you, you're trying to fill in all the blanks, you know, like yeah, a CW TV like show. A house, to be honest. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. House. You're trying to fill in all the blanks to get everybody to like your stuff. When if you just have a good story, it, it, a good story can relate to no matter who it is. A, a good story will go and be out there and everybody will like it no matter what the background is just have a good story yeah. what a, stop trying to try to get an agenda out there to try to fit the narrative and you know it just come on now i'm if done with want, that if you want to do an agenda at least make the story be good that it's not yes it's not oblivious but it's so what's the word nuance and written well enough that is something that's why I, it's gonna sound crazy i really love the barbie movie so much dude i was thinking i was gonna hate the bar movie but i love that fucking movie dog like, i love old, that movie old america F uh Friar, I think For was, america Ferrer, yeah yeah that speech that she did towards the end of the movie i looked at my 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 roommates who are both female and they both had tears in their eyes because like that shit hit to a core level and it wasn't it wasn't a pushed up front it was something that everyone could resonate to, everyone understood, right. and it was just per perfectly worded. Said this, and then, of course they kind of rushed it in the, towards the end, but like that—that's perfect. Like I, yes, if you have yeah. a good writer, a, a message you want to send, the right casting, the right everything right, you're gonna do great. You'll get your message across. Yeah. You get awards, you'll get all the shit, but you the, the main thing you want, you want you get your message, you got the message across. I was really so well surprised received. about that movie. I was uh, so surprised same, about that movie. Same. I was and it, I, the I can't I can't I, you know what? I gotta get that on Blu-ray. That's a good I gotta get that on Blu-ray. I really I really it's, did not think I was it, gonna love that movie, but I, I didn't really the storytelling was there. The but storytelling, you know the art direction, everything was perfect. Yeah, speaking of art direction, since we've uh, we've hit our 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 uh so we well, yes we gotta get we speaking gotta get to it direction speaking of direction uh, all right so we get the end credits of this movie yes uh, all right we see Monica Rambo and what seems to be her, her mother. mother um okay I mean I I I really had a little crush on this girl on this chick like from watching Woman King. Was it Woman King? The, yes, uh, a Woman King. Yes, um, because she was one of the, the the soldiers. I'm like, yo, she is adorable. Like, where y'all get her from? You know, because I saw some behind the scenes stuff. Like, yo, she's cool. I like her. Um, and I and I really didn't care for her too much. Like when I saw her in um in the Doctor Strange movie, I'm like, oh, okay, this show, yeah, so was doing this. Okay, cool. But for some reason, I thought watched the Woman King. And I saw her in a different light. I'm like, oh, okay. And then oh. I saw her in this. I'm like, oh, okay. Like I, I did not that. like the wig that she had on in uh, in uh, the first Captain Marvel movie. That was horrible wig. Hey, well, okay, to be fair, that was 1994. You and I both know goddamn well. We know some women that had that exact. Same yeah, but it just didn't. Look, it didn't. It didn't look good on her. But <laughs> it just. I'm sorry. <laughs> it didn't look good on her. It didn't look good on her in that one. We, but at the same time, though. See her with her natural hair, and I'm like, oh, oh, hello, oh, oh, hold up, hey, hey. And then we had the moment because you know Monica Rambo, she's you know wakes up, she realized she's in a different universe. Uh, right after she don't close the the whole whatever, she's in a different dimension, whatever. Um, uh, it's all white and stuff. It is like, oh, what's so bright and stuff in here? And we see the mom, and then we see who I was surprised, Beast. Um, but this well, time I'm, he's more, he's more CGI. You know, he's CGI he was, one. Yeah, he was all CGI. Yeah, um, go. but he was he was CGI in, uh, what is it? The um, the 
the he was more comic accurate, I can say, in the way like he had like the tooth, or, have, like the tube, the teeth, and the to- uh, like out for, yeah. like protruding out. Yeah, yeah and the beard, he like he the reminded me more, that. Yeah, it, like the, the the head actually like fit more of the body. Like, right, it, it wasn't and like, um. I mean, I still, uh, still done by Kelsey Grammer. Still done by Kelsey. Uh, he was the motion, the mocap suit for it. But I, I still love that the actual, the practical makeup though. I still oh, love the I, practical makeup. You will never not see me root for practical anything. Practical. I still, I still love that look on him. Like I love Kelsey Grammer and that practical makeup. But I understand too. They, these, this is definitely one of the reshoots. For sure, because oh, absolutely. you know they had hey, hey Kelsey, can you come over here and do this stuff? Because like, I ain't doing that damn makeup. I show up, but you ain't put me in that makeup unless you want to give me more money. They're like, no, nah, we got you. We just gonna put you in this tight suit and all, and we are gonna put some dots in your face. All right, cool. I do that. He's like, that's all you gotta do, and he did it. And I mean, the the CGI the CGI wasn't the best because I say it was it was good enough. But at the same time, I hate how Disney are overworking these these uh, special effects houses because they're not getting CGI enough art. time. The CGI yeah. artists, they're not getting enough time to perfect the looks of certain things. So, I mean, even though for the regular eye, the normal eye, somebody just, who doesn't know anything about the business like that, uh, they can say, oh, whatever, superpowers, lightning effects, all that stuff. They say, okay, cool. But for me, I'm like, mm, that could have been better. It looks good. I see what y'all was doing, but I know they was rushing and, y'all. I can't help. I can't yeah, blame y'all. It was rushed, definitely, but at the same time, it was rushed for, at best, the forty-five seconds. And for those forty-five yeah. seconds, we're not really looking for a. Full, it was. It gave me. It gave East. me like a TV show. We're looking at X Men, which okay, yeah, but what thing. it stood for I'm was for the, for the X Men. Yes, I'm hyped, but at the same time, y'all picked honestly the wrong person to show off because if you read current comics we not really fucking with Beast right now because he's doing oh, some shit. fuck shit in the comics my man's a traitor to his own people like he so we but we're not some, doing that right now though we ain't talking about that, that right Beast we, 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 we talking not, about we, that we, Beast we, like it's 1997 <laughs> we look exactly at oh look it's, it's fluffy you know yeah blue cookie monster exactly blue. That's where we at right now. That's the this is the beast that we're giving you right now. We ain't talking about that version. That's another yeah. dimension. You know, that's another variant. Um, yeah. but this variant, like we get to see him. I mean, for what it was, it was like, oh my god, that's beast. At first glance, like, oh my god. If you watch it a few more times, it's like, oh, okay, you can get okay, that's a bit better looking over here. But the most but the shocking moment was there when you saw him, it's like, oh my god, this is dope. And he's like, let me go tell the professor. They're like, oh shit. But I'm I'm hoping if they do the professor, it is what's his name from the previous uh prequel X Men oh, movie. Oh, not Patrick Stewart. Um uh, Yeah, not Patrick. I think Patrick um, uh, what's his name? Uh, I'll look it up. I got my computer uh, right here. The younger the younger uh Xavier. Uh Patrick Stewart, he's old, man. Let that man chill. Let that man rest. He did it, he uh, did the um he did the Doctor Strange, he did it. He died. James, let's get the James other guy. McAvoy. James yeah, McAvoy. let's let's put, yeah get James McAvoy in there. Let him do the rest of this stuff. So I've already looked up the theories for this. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of sites are saying this is gonna tie in to Deadpool three, which is gonna be based on yes. him killing the the Marvel universe, but instead of him killing the Fox universe. Uh, yeah. Which honestly, even though I love the last three, well. Davis you know, matter of fact, he, he's nothing. the only Disney movie coming out. Look, this year. I'm fine. It, give them a I mean, Marvel break. movie. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I know what you mean. Give them a break. I am perfectly fine. Give everyone some time off. They mm-hmm. have fucking earned it. Give them. I, if we get TV shows, cool. We got Echo. Uh, I think we're getting Daredevil Born Again. If not next year, 2025. Um, anyway, the, take- it's getting held, held off, but we will be getting Iron Heart. Okay, everyone, take your time. You like we yep. y'all had a whole strike to for this instead of oh, they're gonna, they're gonna take their time. They got nothing but time to just they gotta they gotta do a lot right now because there's so much TV shows 
that's it that's been on repeats right now because of this thing like they stuck <laughs> they don't set the the they don't set back time how the strike done that yeah. they basically hey, look, pay with, them the, the, pay the straight your, pay your writers pay your the, the straight pay the them. straight the straight basically done did what what COVID did when people was on lockdown for two years you know what I'm saying that everything was halted that's what happened so it was like now everything all production stuff is halted again you know just right in the middle of shit so it's it sucks um but i will uh uh what is it but oh before we go we, monica rambo's mama that what's her what's that what's her name in binary. The binary binary oh my god so binary suit that ooh, suit that, that suit is god that damn. suit is brilliant all oh, the the white so, and the it was a, a maroon is that maroon right in maroon but if you look close she also had the bangles on both arms Oh, so in that she's the Captain Marvel of that universe. Yes, and I love that. Suit. And I, oh my god, she feel that suit out too. <laughs> Ew. Ooh. Ooh. They know how to pick them, boy. They know how to pick these people. Ooh. I'll tell you. Look at, look um, black women, black women just saving Marvel. Boy. Like Captain Marvel, I would say is not the worst movie I've seen this year. Uh, oh, it's not the best. Me. It's not the best. It's a, it's a good movie just to have fun with and have a good time. Like what was it? The movie I hated so much that pissed me off. Oh yeah, there was Ant Man, uh, Ant Man and Wasp three. That pissed me off so much in that movie because I, I took a story that should have been easy to do, and y'all just wanted to add all this other stuff from other. That hurt my heart to watch that one, and I love Ant Man. I love those last two movies. I'm not gonna lie, Ant Man was as a character. It was, I I had no interest in an Ant Man movie because at first it was gonna. I thought we were gonna do uh, Hank, and I'm like, I hate Hank Pym. I hate this. Yeah, man. with a burning passion. Like, no, we're gonna do Scott. But, like, oh, I'm cool with Scott. I'm cool with Scott. Give but the that. fact that you make don't like you, <laughs> you made a, a a ground level hero that he was in. I like those little uh, heist films and all that. Like, keep that. But now you're trying to make an Avenger size movie during a with a heist, you know, type of genre. Now, it, it just didn't it, work. It, yeah, and I feel everyone got wasted because first off, John the Majors did his fucking thing. And yes. His gang. Yeah. But the fact that he got defeated by CGI ants and Darren, Darren as Modok. Like Grant, I'm not gonna lie. Even though the CGI was not great, I giggled. The fact that I got to see Modok in live action, I'm like this. this is I, I still got Modok butt in my head. <laughs> that was un, that was unnecessary. I did not even see that. That was I did not so see unnecessary. This. Yo, but no, but yeah, I did. The, out of the three, uh, Ant Man and Quan Man was definitely bottom of the three of those movies. Ant Man, honestly, the first one's perfect. The first one. The first two, great. I love the first two movies. I honestly do, and I and I watched the second one because I didn't, I didn't. It was some parts of the second one that I didn't remember, and I really I realized how much I love that second one too. And but you know, I compared it to this third one, I'm like, where the fuck did we go? What y'all did? What did y'all do? And it's oh. like this, there's no coming back for this. The, the that, only thing they could have did was kill off his character to make it. Which that I think much. everyone thought. I thought. I think that's what we all thought was gonna happen. But again. Change minds, reshoots, and yeah, uh, that could have that could have set the needle. That I would have forgave it if they did that part. And then like, okay, all, they push the needle that further. Have him be trapped in another universe, which that's been the theme for Scott. Is he's always his time. He's never on time. He's always yeah. out. So that would have been a full just circle of him missing like doing yeah. the right thing and i didn't now, and i did out. not like the daughter and i did not care for that version of the daughter eh, she's annoying I, eh, she's, she's a annoying teenager. to me i i work around teenagers every day so well not every day every couple no days, I, so like, it's just like eh. i feel like they could have had somebody better i just felt like different actress oh you mean actress oh yeah eh. I, like i didn't because she i liked her in other things like freaky and all those stuff uh she's good in those but as this character like nah did work for me Honestly, I'd rather they just gave it, waited some time for like, the little girl who was in the last two to like grow up a little bit. But I understand they had to speed everything up and yeah. they can wait for her to grow up to be like 13. So, but same time, man, I would have liked that better. Shit. <laughs> um, you know, matter of fact, let the little girl be and have a little Ant-Man costume. Fuck it. Give her a little Ant-Man just have a little midget do all the stunts. 
Oh, uh, sorry, little person. Sorry, little person. <laughs> little person. We about to get to. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, but yeah. So that was our our rendition of a movie review mm-hmm. uh, with all the spoilers there. Um, this is fun. This is fun. And um, thank you for joining the show, bro. Uh, no problem. Had to get this out there. Uh, next time you see us, we'll be talking about our uh, most underrated wrestling matches. Yeah. Uh, that should be fun. That, that should be that should be I, fun. Oh God, so many matches. Yes, it's, it's, it's a lot of matches out there from so WWE, many, TNA, whatever the case. I, um, I know. I I I kind of fucked myself when I said five from WWE, five from TNA, and I think I said five from like another promotion. I was like, what the uh, fuck was I thinking? What? Why would I? Why did I do this? This is gonna be that's gonna be a special episode for sure. That's, that's, uh, gonna, be, that's gonna be private. You be <laughs> one year. No, you, you're. I don't think it's gonna be as long as your your Hellspawn interview. Which shout out him. So, d- d- good on you for getting that interview. Oh man, he's a dope guy. He's a dope person. Um, not trying to like waste more time on this on this part. But man, I, shout outs to Hellspawn cosplay. Yo, he's a dope person. Yo. Uh, it, uh, even off, off camera too, like just really chatting with him, like, man, um, I can't wait to go to a con that uh, to hang out, you know what I'm saying? Like really, uh, to really go and like chill with the guy, whatever, because he's dope as hell. Uh, great advice with stuff, uh, great father, you know, he's just great all around. And um, yeah, shout out to Hellspawn Cosplay, you know, Blur Power. Um, yo, Blur the Powerful, sorry, Blur the Powerful. Uh, yes, shout out to y'all. Over there, uh, shout out to Geek Squire for joining me for this for this uh, movie review and uh, the Marvels. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this is Bear Night Podcast. So uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff you like. Uh, remember, bear it all, be yourself. This is Bear Night. We out of here, people. Peace. <laughs>